I am your host, Leah Denla, and you are listening to the Oracle On Purpose podcast, where we help intentional leaders clarify their purpose and next steps to create a work and life of significance. Order up. That's right. Today, I want to talk to you about what you get is what you ordered. What you get is what you ordered. Okay. If you are looking around at your life right now and you are frustrated and angry and confused, chances are your experience is leaving you frustrated, angry, and confused. The universe is always listening and always delivering. I was speaking today with my group and um, we were talking about what our intentions are when we talk about the law of attraction and manifestation and people get really Um, fed up with it, or they think it doesn't work, it comes down to knowing that it's always working. And when it's working, we feel as if it only works when things are good. Okay, listen to me, we feel as if it's only working when things the experiences are good. But the truth of the matter is good or bad. It's always working. It's always creating for you what you ordered, what you put into your mind and put energy around, what you focused on, what you rose in vibration in your mind's eye, you created in your experience. And there is a great story from my husband's own business right now. It was just kind of funny. We were joking about this because of course, how apropos it's happening right after my call with my clients. And it's that, you know, he's looking at his calendar and he kept saying, my calendar is so empty. My calendar is so empty. And he started to get worried. And then he got more worried. And then he started feeling like, you know, maybe he should change. I mean, he really went all the way down the path of like, what does this mean about my business and all of these things. And so for a few days, he was in that state. And so everything he looked at from that state felt as if it was confirming his worries. Following? And... I happen to be looking at, we've been, we made some changes to that business and the structure and some systems. And I thought it was really curious that this was what he was sharing as the experience of the business when it didn't seem accurate. So I did a little digging and sure enough, two calendars had not been connected. So even though there were things on his calendar coming up and things were happening and, and, and money was flowing in and the business was going on just perfectly fine, he had had an almost you know, a week of this, this experience that was completely different than the actual results. And he was living in that experience. Now, the thing about it is, isn't so much that, yeah, everything was fine, which is great. Um, You know, we live in a very abundant, plentiful uh, life and mindset in general. So our businesses are very happy and prosperous. So that's another reason, like that was another clue that something was off when he started having these experiences for himself. So I I bring this up because it's not unlike what some of my clients were mentioning today in the call of realizing and starting to recognize this whole manifestation thing that I teach in the Purpose and Prosperity Accelerator. Today, we were talking about how do we manifest the best, our best. And part of that is understanding that we are always manifesting. So how do we manifest our best? It's to understand that we get what we order. We get the order we place, right? We get the order we place. And we don't always remember that we're always placing orders with our thoughts, especially the ones that we focus in on, especially the ones that we energize with our emotion, So why does it feel like it's only working when it feels good, right? When you, when like my clients have, you know, um, magically manifested a little, uh, little car um, and or created new partnerships that they've been thinking about for years and wanting to have and suddenly came really clear about and then poof, it feels as if by magic, they have manifested this new partnership. Or they have suddenly understood a deeper sense of who they are and where they belong in the world. These are not things that have happened 
accidentally. And neither are the things that felt as if they were going against them or going wrong. All right. The order was put in and delivered. You get what you ordered. Okay. Getting what you ordered looks like thinking and worrying that you're not going to be able to make the right connections to launch your next product. And so oddly enough, you stop reading your emails from a certain email box and all of these messages are sitting there piled up, just waiting for your response because your mind has shifted to the fact that that doesn't even exist, right? Cause it's not focused there. It's focused on the not having. And in focusing on the not having of those connections, no way would your system, right? Would your conscious mind decide to go looking in places where that answer would not be delivered. That is how you're served by the universe. If you put your order in wrong and you receive the wrong dish, it's not the universe that's broken, right? It's not not working on your behalf. It's not the law of attraction not working. It really is working perfectly. So all it takes is understanding that if you want the right order delivered, then you have to place the order the way that you want it. A similar thing happened to me just the other day. Um, and I was just thinking about this right now. I wanted to order some pizza for my family. I was on my phone, which honestly, I remember like I should never own anything, order things on my phone because I can never really see everything. And so I was doing it quickly, wasn't paying attention. I was in a hurry. My energy was not really stable. And so I wasn't really focused. And I just was like trying to hurry up and get something ordered. So I picked the order. I went to go get it up, you know, pick it up at the store. I picked up the pizzas. I took them home. I opened the box. And it's almost like the most exact opposite of what I wanted was in the box. My son only eats pepperoni pizza if he has pizza at all. And it was peppers and pepperoni and pepperoni and mushroom. And I was like, what the heck? And I was like, I didn't order that. I ordered a Supreme pizza. And so I call them and say, hey, I ordered a Supreme pepperoni pizza. And the guy's like, yes, the Supreme pepperoni pizza comes with blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, right. I put the wrong order in and I got what I ordered. So think about that for yourself right now. If there's something about what you're experiencing that doesn't feel aligned, it may not be that there's anything wrong except that you haven't been clear. You don't have the clarity, right, about what you're trying to order or you're doing it in a state that is um, worrisome or agitated or fed up. Because when we're in a fed up zone, by the way, when we're in the fed up zone, then we are in the zone where we will take less than we really want. So see, these are some of the topics that I share with my clients. And if you don't know already, I'm Leah Dunlap. I'm known as the Oracle on Purpose. And I work with women leaders to help them to get the clarity and the confidence in what they're here to do, their purpose, so that they can actually find their divine path forward. And that allows them to have the prosperity and abundance that they deserve. And that is something that I take really to heart when I look at these stories and these experiences that we have, knowing that what is the order that we're putting in? What is the order? What are you asking for? And it's really fun when my clients are starting to repeat back to me, as they often do in the, in the accelerator group, that they're starting to understand the logic and they're starting to understand that it is actually always working. And it takes intention. It takes that clarity of purpose to know that what you are asking for is actually what you want. And that's a little bit of the extra sauce that um, I get to enjoy sharing with them, which is discovering what that really is for you and unique to you, right? So that your story, the alignment to your purpose and the clarity with which you engage in manifesting your life and your and the joy of your business they all are attuned to true personal heartfelt 
unique desires. That to me really speaks to how we can utilize the theme for this week for my group, which is manifest your best. What is it every day when you wake up and open your eyes that you most hope to achieve and to be? And can you hold that thought and that vibration as if it's already so and move through the world looking for that evidence to confirm that it is a fact that what you have ordered will be delivered to you. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Leah Dunlap, the Oracle on Purpose. Remember, wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now, you are here on purpose. Thanks for tuning in to the Oracle on Purpose show. If you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate you leaving a comment. Also, you can subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. If you'd like to get clear on your highest vision and next steps, go to oracleonpurpose.com. See you next week.